Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. If you're a longtime user of the Amazon Fire Stick or you just bought the brand new Fire Stick 4K Max, this video is for you. Did you know that there's a handful of settings that you can and should change on your Amazon Fire Stick today? Not only to protect your privacy, but also to increase the speed of it. You might be surprised at what Big Brother's keeping track of at the expense of your Fire Stick's performance. I'm going to show you all these settings one by one, step by step. It's quick and easy, and you'll be glad that you did. So, if you're ready to see what the boys over at Amazon are up to, and you want to stop them in their tracks, grab your remotes, and let's go! If you're in the market for a VPN service to help you stay connected and protected while streaming, have a click on one of the links in the description below. Doing so not only gets you a great discount on your next VPN subscription, it also helps to support the Cord Cutters Li channel. All right, so what you see here is a freshly factory reset Amazon 4K Fire Stick Max. This is basically what you would see um, after going through the first couple of steps um, as far as signing into the Fire Stick and connecting to your Wi-Fi. I've changed no settings so far. Um, I want to start you off from scratch and to show you what settings you should be changing right away before you really get into using the new Fire Stick. Click on the gear and then... Scroll down to My Fire TV. I just want to show you this is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. It is running Fire OS 7.2.9.2. What we should do before we change any settings is actually check for updates to see if there are any updates available for this. And in this case, there is. So I'm going to go ahead and let that install and restart the Fire Stick, and I'll be right back moments later so now after going through that you can check for updates as long as your fire stick says your fire tv is up to date you're good to go so let's go back a couple steps and the settings that we are most interested in today are all in preferences so let's go into preferences um, I'm going to show you a really cool thing to do inside of parental controls, but I'm going to save that for last. You're going to want to see this. Trust me. Um, it could end up saving you a lot of money. But anyway, let's go down to privacy settings and go in there. There are a few settings in here that are automatically turned on when you first get your Amazon Fire Stick. And these are pretty um, intrusive, if you ask me. So the first one is device usage data. Basically, it uses your personal data collected by the operating system, or in this case, the Fire Stick, um, to basically keep track of all of the data that you use, where you go, what you see, what you watch, etc. Um, that is used for purposes of uh, showing you different ads and different types of things that you might want to buy. Not only that, it uses up resources because it's a little monitor that's always running, keeping track of stuff and logging what you do. So we're going to want to make sure that we turn that one off. You don't have to read all that, but you can if you want to, and then click Turn Off. Next thing we want to turn off is the Collect App Usage Data. This one keeps track of all the stuff that you do in the App Store, how long you play uh, different apps and games, whatever ha you happen to be doing on the Fire Stick. Keeps track of that for the same purpose, uh, to show you, you know, different things that you may want to buy and keep track of your interests. And, and who knows, they're probably selling that information to whoever wants to buy it but you didn't hear that from me. So let's turn that off. The next one is, I think it would go without saying, but interest-based ads. You know, it's bad enough that you get this on your computer or your phone. I don't really wanna see this on my Fire Stick when I'm trying to watch a TV show or a movie. So what this is doing basically is, again, it's running in the background, constantly keeping track of what you do, um, where you go, what you watch and so on, and then it will show you, you know, ads based on that content. So we don't want that. I'll definitely want to be turning that off as well. And again, you can read this if you want to. I'm going to skip it. So that's it uh, in the privacy settings. Next thing we want to do is go down to data usage monitoring. And you want to make sure that this is off. Let's say you're on a cell plan or a hotspot and you have a limited number of bandwidth that you can use for the month. You may want to go ahead and turn this on, but we're going to leave this off for now. We'll go back a step. In the notification settings, I like to turn these off. This is sort of a um, an oxymoron or a double negative here where it says, do not interrupt, but it's off. So in its current setting, 
that means that the notifications or for pop-ups are turned on. So, but in other words, if an update uh, comes into an app and you're, you may be in the middle of something, um, it's just going to pop up on the screen and, and show you that. So I like to change this to on. So it's do not interrupt is turned on and it says here, you can turn it off to show the application notification. So again, it's a little confusing. This should be on. Next one is a pretty big one, featured content. And this was, this is where you will manage the video and audio in the featured content area of the home screen. So let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. If you go to home and you go up to the top of the screen, it's going to go ahead and play some content in there for you um, with video and sound. So let's go back to that setting because it's number one, it's using up resources on your device. Number two, it's using up bandwidth. And number three, um, there's a good chance that that content that's up there that's playing is looking to make you buy something that you don't already have. So it's probably uh, not really necessary to play that stuff. So go ahead and turn both of these off. This is a pretty big one. This is a resource hog on your Fire Stick and uh, turning this off will definitely help you out um, performance wise. So turn both of those off and let's back up a step. The rest of this stuff can pretty much be left alone. Nothing much more to do here. Now let's go back to that parental control setting I was telling you about. I'm sure everybody has an idea what parental controls are all about. It basically stops the kids from getting into certain content and whatever, but it also can save you um, and it can save you some money. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go into parental controls and it's going to be set to off by default, but let's go ahead and turn that on. It's going to ask you for a code. Pick whatever you want. You use the, the circle pad um, on here. I'm just going to set it for 1111. And here's what we want to do. Um, definitely pin protect purchases. This is something that I would want to definitely turn on because I have a couple of friends that this has happened to. Either their kids or their wife or their um, whatever um, is watching stuff on the fire stick. And they just find a movie and go ahead and click on it and play. Before you know it, your credit card bill is through the roof because you've bought a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon. And that's basically what Amazon wants you to do. So by setting this uh, for pin protect purchases on, um, this will prevent you from buying something by accident. And to turn everything else off, if you want to, you go into viewing restrictions and you just allow all of the content for all the different um, types of uh, ratings and so on. So this setting is effectively doing nothing except for, and you can turn these off as well. Um, you don't need to pin protect uh, apps, you know, from opening. And, and, this, and this setting here just stops you from showing photos on the app from your Amazon uh, photos online. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So basically only changing this one setting um, leaves the Fire Stick completely functional except that it stops you from buying stuff by accident. If you do want to buy something, um, it'll ask you for the pin code. You put the pin code in and you can go ahead and buy it, uh, rent it, whatever it may be. So that's sort of a bonus setting that I wanted to share with you. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that's worthwhile doing or not. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So let's back up, go back to the home page, And as you see now at the top, it's just showing me a picture of the content. It's no longer playing a video and it's no longer playing any sound. And I think you'd agree that's probably a lot better. All right. So there you have it. A bunch of settings I think you should change today on your Amazon Fire Stick. If you knew all of these settings already or you learned something new today, go ahead and put some comments down below and let me know all about it. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, tell a friend. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out for Cord Credits Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.